When we thought we saw the Jersey thing and people were mad, boy, that was literally only the half of it. <laughs> yeah, it really was. It really uh, was. <clears throat> now we got to see the bottom half. <laughs> now we got to see. The- Did you like that joke when I wrote it in there? That was pretty good. Pretty As you were good. saying, I was like, that'd be a good... And you, you have it there. I did. It's a pretty good joke. Mm. This is only the half of it. Oh, <laughs> bad. You can see their hogs. Yeah, it's really awful. And uh, th- if you haven't seen them, uh, just Google it. But you can see it's completely transparent, white pants. You can see whatever like the logo is on their on their underwear, their jock strap. Like, everything's visible. Yeah. It's an awful look. And thank God we have players like Trey Turner coming out and saying, literally, mm. they suck. Everyone hates them. <laughs> yeah, they, like they, the Nike athletes can no longer hide because the case is made right there. Yeah, and you can see all three of them, mm-hmm. all three cases, just hanging down, dude. Dude, it's it's almost entirely transparent. <laughs> it's transparent on hey, look how cheap we are, dude. Uh, I don't understand because <clears throat> you were talking about like the the layers of because this went through production. There's pre production. People see this. There's a lot of people looking mm-hmm. at this being like. This is awful, but the, it's the people at the top like, dude, we're making a killing. You know how much money we're gonna save? Mm. Uh, I forget. Oh, it was um, I think it was Eno Saris that said that they he called the pants single ply. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's pretty good. I mean, how do they not in the R and D phase pick up the pants, put them up towards the light, and go? I can see the ball and the shape on the other side. <laughs> yeah, I can read the logo on the bulb, dude. It, it, it's really awful. I don't understand. I think they're going to have to correct course or else players are just like, I'm not going to go. I'm, I make, you know, how many millions of dollars a year? I'm not going to go out and people can see my whitey tidies. You can't change it, though. That's the problem. They are two to three years in advance already. Like, they've, they've Nike has been sitting on these with Fanatics knowing they were going to be this bad. That's terrible. Exactly. And, and dude, like, everyone knew. They, I can't believe I can't believe that when they tucked it in, you could see the jersey just coming. <laughs> like, full scenes. It's such a bad look where you can see, like, the wrinkles of, like, a tucked-in jersey. It, it completely does away with, like, how cool, like, the uniform would look. <laughs> I was I was just thinking like you're gonna start seeing like players uh, like a lot of advertisements being put like on like their sliders and girdles, <laughs> just like showing you know it's like the Under Armour. It would be a perfect time for them to like show how shitty one other company's products are yeah. and is a free advertising space. Oh, Under Armour already tweeted. It was it just says we've got you covered, and it was the pants, and you I couldn't see, see through the white pants. That was perfect. Uh, it was well like, played, genius, strong move, Under Armour. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you mentioned that it's transparent and see-through, uh, d- gone are the days of the Jason Giambi, Derek Jeter, 1990, no, 2002 Yankees, mm-hmm. 2003 Yankees, the Golden Thong. I'm, I'm not recalling. You don't know this story? I don't think so. So there is a Golden Thong that was floating through the Yankees clubhouse. Wait, were... was it like a ghost floating through? Like a ghost Golden Thong? <laughs> ghost, no. Was this the ghost baby? Was this the ghost baby? <laughs> yeah, it was mostly gold. Backside, <laughs> don't ask. Mm-hmm. And uh, what would happen was, say, like you're going into a cold streak. You're like 0 for 21, 0 for 22. Mm-hmm. You were given the Golden Thong. Mm-hmm. And then you would put it on and you would snap out of your streak. That's awesome. That's fun. But yeah, you can't do that now and not do it like unanimously, or at least people will know. Yeah. Everyone would know. They'd be like, hold on. What's that sparkle? What is that sheen going on (laughs) in Paul Goldschmidt's pants? Oh, he's going through it. Wow. Yeah, that would be so. Sparkles on there? That would be something to look forward to, like a little bit. You're like, no, man, this dude has been swamping the past three (laughs) weeks. We might see the golden dog. You're like, is the back of the back of his pants are lighting up different colors? <laughs> oh, he's got the O for forty four plug in. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just, it's just the butt strobing. Plug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious! Like I can't wear these pants without people seeing my fox butt plug. <laughs> We'll have to change it like real quickly. All the dudes start wearing their butt plugs. <laughs> I just wanted to be a Yuki. I think that's a Japanese fox. That sounded like it. It felt like it. Mm-hmm. And that's what matters here. Mm-hmm. If it feels good, it's right. Mm-hmm. Accuracy. <laughs> you know, this isn't a podcast about Japanese foxes. I'll tell you that. This is a podcast about I don't know anymore. Yeah, but I've said that a bunch. <laughs> I've said that so this much. This is not about Japanese foxes. It's not about that. Might be about baseball. Um, but dude, they can't course correct. They can't fix it. They can't all of a sudden reproduce all of these pants 
we're just gonna have one day we're gonna it's gonna be a drizzle out and they're gonna have to cancel the game because of the pants yeah uh once they get wet and for people that, like we're gonna be sweating or even when it's raining out there it's gonna be entirely you're gonna see absolutely through everything so i guess you're gonna have to see like players gonna wear probably just matching underwear to whatever the color white or gray is mm-hmm. gonna be and then uh yeah just get used to seeing uh, people's girdles and all that stuff sure. and it's gonna be really funky now here's my conspiracy theory mm-hmm. i think nike knew this Okay. I think fanatics knew this. I think that they saw what happened with the NFL Mm -hmm. this season with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift and said, well, we can't afford Taylor Swift. So what if we just showed all the players dicks? (laughs) Like creating a controversy, like something people will either be, it's really polarizing. Some people really love it. Yeah. Some people are like, I hate it. I hate it. And, but overall it draws in the female audience. Very true. Because the imagine a good baseball butt. Now there is not much material between it. True. I know a, many a lady who'd be like, boy, oy, 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 oy. Yeah, there's a lot of great dumpers in baseball. So many good ones. My other conspiracy theory is they were waiting on this mm-hmm. until Joey Votto looked like he was on his way out. Because if they had him in those pants... It'd be too much. 162-0 and 0 for whoever the team he's on. Yeah, I mean, all the women would be sliding out of their seats. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God, we got a bunch of snails out there again. Oh, goodness. We had a snail invasion. <laughs> snail invasion. Oh, dear mother of God. <laughs> oh, shit, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, but it, overall, I mean, it, it's just uh, what we talked about last week. It's just more pub that baseball doesn't want. They want positive pub, and they aren't getting it. So it, it, with this, it just doesn't, it does not help. Quite literally a bad look. The, <laughs> all around, top and bottom. Yeah, top to bottom, top not to, good. Top to bottom, boo.